in the 70s in New York, you had rap and punk. And yet, as soon as you went over a bridge or through a tunnel and left the city, that was a different world. If you look at the map, I mean, we're like, what? We're 20 miles away from CBGB's, but we may as well have been 1,000 miles away, right? More bands are expected basically to play at a volume that people could talk, play the songs people wanted to hear, and be unobtrusive. Twisted Sister from day one refused to be that band. If you like what we're doing, show us you like what we're doing, motherfucker! The idea was we would be heard, we would be loud, and we would do whatever it took to get your attention. This is our world. We own this world. We're the number one band in this world. Tell us a band is more popular than us. We're gonna swim out there, we're gonna eat them. They were out for fucking blood. Twisted sister. They weren't like pretty boys at all. It was like Cinderella's ugly sisters having a convention. It was shocking. They were playing us on a Thursday and doing the business and playing, you know, Staten Island on a Friday and doing the business and Queens or, you know, Jersey on a Saturday and doing the business. The response was, get the fuck out of here. There's, we're not signing this, it's shit. Listen, you do what you do. You pick yourself up, dust yourself off, strap the spandex back on and get back out there. That's when we became record company, merch company, Twisted Incorporated. And I listened to it and I thought, wow, this band is great. Why can't they get a deal? I don't understand. The bands in this particular market, they were making three, five, seven thousand dollars a night. Twisted was making 10,000 in some places. It was insane. Where did that leave us? If we didn't get out, we were gonna die. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it.